Hi, I'm Vanessa from SpeakEnglishWithVanessa.com. Do you like to listen to podcasts? Let's talk about eight awesome podcasts that you can use to learn English. Let's get started. I always say that the best way to learn English fluently is to immerse yourself in English on a daily basis. And one of the best ways to do this if you don't live in an English-speaking country is to constantly listen to English material. You can listen to something while you're making breakfast, while you're sitting on the train, while you're sitting in traffic. You can just really surround yourself with English. And podcasts are a great way to do that. So today I'd like to share with you eight English learning podcasts that you can use to surround and immerse yourself in English. If you don't have much free time, the first podcast recommendation is going to be a great fit for you. It is BBC's Six Minute English. They talk about current topics and interesting relevant ideas such as Bitcoin, the man flu, or ethical coffee. They have short segments and they're relatively easy to understand. These first three recommendations are the easiest to understand and then the later ones are going to be based on conversation, sometimes more complex conversations and ideas. So first I recommend BBC's Six Minute English. My second recommendation is EnglishClass101.com's podcast. They feature a lot of vocabulary builders and exercises. They're more structured podcasts. So you're going to learn things such as the top 38 languages spoken in the world or the top 10 holidays in the UK. You're going to build your vocabulary and they also have more structured exercises to do. My third recommendation is VOA, Voice of America. Voice of America features slow news articles. The speakers speak relatively slowly. It's easier to understand them than the regular fast news articles. And you're going to learn relevant things. So if you enjoy listening to the news, this is a good fit for you to help you improve your listening and understand most of the vocabulary because it's relatively simple. The next five podcast recommendations are best for learners who can already understand some English, like this video. If you can understand me speaking, then you'll be doing great with these next recommendations because the speakers speak pretty quickly, pretty naturally, but they're English teachers. So they're going to use vocabulary and expressions and sentence structures that are useful to you as you're learning English. They're going to be thinking about you as a learner, but they're also going to be speaking a little bit quickly. So let's go ahead to these next five recommendations. My fourth podcast recommendation is Happy English Podcast with Michael who lives in New York City. Michael has short, fun, practical lessons. They're usually less than 10 minutes and you're going to learn a lot of idioms. You're going to learn ways to talk about the weather. You're going to learn how to know the difference between have got and have gotten. Lots of practical tips while also being fueled with energy for English. My fifth recommendation is the Feel Good English podcast with Kevin. Kevin takes a different twist on the idea of learning English through daily life. He talks about how to become a better person. So instead of talking about news articles or common topics. He talks about becoming a better person, things that he has learned in life, maybe interesting and deep books that he has read. So if you want to have self-improvement, if you want to improve yourself, or if you want to learn about deep ideas like stress and happiness, this is a great podcast for you. Kevin has a lot of insight in life and he also has a lot of passion. My sixth recommendation is the Real Life English Podcast. These are fun, informal, unscripted conversations featuring English speakers with different accents. They feature interesting ideas such as adventuring, backpacking, and learning English in a hostel, or do I need to speak without an accent? Or how to have the best year ever? You're going to be able to inspire yourself and also learn a lot of interesting things 
with the Real Life English Podcast. My seventh recommendation is the All Ears English Podcast with Americans Lindsay and Michelle. They talk about expressions, vocabulary, idioms, tips for learning English, and they often feature other guests as well. You're going to learn interesting topics such as how to have fluency the smart way, or how natives talk about their hometowns, or is there ever a good time to use the word ain't in English? This is a motivated, passionate podcast, so if you want to start your day in an excited way, make sure to listen to this. My eighth and final recommendation is Luke's English. This one hour plus podcast is excellent for learning about British English and also just how to talk about life. Luke features really interesting topics such as the birth of my daughter, or we talk about Star Wars, or the royal British family, a quiz. There is quite a variety of topics and actually there's over 500 episodes so far. So if you have not started Luke's English podcast, you have many hours of listening, entertainment, and information at your disposal. I hope that some of these eight podcasts are new for you. I recommend listening today, choosing one, choose one episode, start to listen, use your smartphone. I think you can even stream them on the computer. Make sure that you spend time learning English and listening as much as possible. So now I want to know for you, do you have any other podcast recommendations? Let me know in the comments below and let's learn from each other. Thanks so much and I'll see you the next time. Bye. The next step is to download my free ebook, Five Steps to Becoming a Confident English Speaker. This will help you know what is the next step in your English journey to help you really master English and speak fluently. Feel free to subscribe so that you get a notification every time there's a new English lesson. Thanks so much and I'll see you later. Bye.